um, at a historical site in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. It's called Wat Nom, W A T and Nom, P H N O M, Wat Nom. It's um, a hill, an artificial hill that, that is built okay. as the highest Buddhist edifice in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. And it's a, I think, a 27 meter artificial hill that was built. Um, so I see from behind me the stairs to the 27 meter um, hill. I've climbed that and I'm at the top of the, the hill. Um, so let me just pan around and do a 360 so you can see, you know. So I just got here a few minutes ago and um, I heard a, a one old woman asked for the community to help her build something like this and, and they did. Um, so I'm thinking it's a community effort to erect something like this and they're considering it like the, you know, um, holiest or should I say the highest edifice in honor of Buddha so Buddhists have very great reverence for this um, this particular um, historical site as you can see um, there's um, incense all right I hope you guys can see it. incense and that's for prayers you 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 put you see your prayers and you put your incense here to burn and flowers and everything you can see them um, doing that so I'll be going in and, and doing my own prayers too because I have a lot of things I want to ask from God and Buddha. <laughs> I want to ask from, from Buddha also. If Buddha can do it, that's fine. <laughs> so, see, another Buddha. You know, this is uh, I don't, I don't, probably praying in uh, prayer. Um, I don't know. Okay, so like I said, it, it's very, like um, the culture is very, very very visible in everything that um day to day you know life here and in the architecture and you know um their food even everything they do is heavily embedded in um their asian culture oh remove shoes i'm sorry i want my shoes into the temple you remove shoes so i have to remove my shoes my people okay so make the note if these shoes though I don't want to lose my shoes, so I have to figure out what to do. Okay, or well, maybe not. Is it okay here? The shoe okay? Let me have that. I am sweating up a storm, my people. I am sweating up a storm as always. As always, every time I'm doing this pillow talk, I'll be sweating up a storm. You all know I don't care. Sweat or no sweat, I'll be bringing it to you guys. Okay. So I'm going inside the temple to go and pray. Let me go and pray for the obvious things that you guys know. Let me go and pray for a very good husband. Very rich husband. Good husband that will take care of me. All right, that's what I'm looking for, love. I don't even need anything like him. So let me go and pray for a good husband. Pray for children. God help me in this lifetime. And um, pray for money, success at work, or whatever, okay? Let's go and say hello to Buddha inside. So this is the temple. I'm going to be quiet. So I'm going to be quiet from here on and just show you guys, okay? So I'm going to be quiet and walk around. All right? So there's this huge candle. I hope you guys can see there's huge candles. Buddha is here. Oh no. And there are people here. Praying, as you can see. And Fab is being nosy. As always. And I, I keep blaming Pillow Talk. Saying, you know, it's Pillow Talk for being nosy all the time. Always nosy. You know, everybody's business, as in, I will come to one place. People are here praying, jelly, je -je quietly. Me, I'm here intruding because of pillow talk. But for you people, I will, I will intrude. Though. I will intrude. It doesn't matter. Can you see what's going on here? You all can see. Okay. Offer your prayers. After this video, I will be saying my prayers and burning my incense and, you know, saying my little prayers. Because to me, it doesn't matter. A prayer is a prayer. 
it doesn't matter who you say your prayers to. I don't care. As long as your prayers get answered and your hands are clean and you don't have any evil thoughts towards any other human being, I'm okay. I don't care. I don't judge people and their religion. I don't discriminate. I actually respect everybody's religion because it's what works for them. If it doesn't work for them, it won't be their religion. So I feel like we all need to respect people's religion and people's um, beliefs because it's what's embedded in their culture and the core of um, their being. So, and to be honest with you, most of us don't have really have any choice um, when it comes to, oh, well, not that we don't have any choice, but seriously, our choices are limited because when you're born, you're born with, um, a re, you know, born into a religion <laughs> by, um, should I say by, um, transference from your parents if your parents are Christians of course you know they raise you in a Christian home and if they are Muslims they raise you in a Muslim home and so on and so forth so you know um, you're growing up Christian if you're in a Christian home so deviating from that religion when you grow up is totally up to you and usually um, very usually hard to do okay so that's why honestly I do not judge people and their religion to be quite honest with you I do not judge anybody and their religion, to be honest. I actually respect people, everybody and their religion because I feel like, you know, you and I did not have a choice. We just found ourselves. Uh, me, I'm, I was born a Christian. I've always been a Christian. Thinking about, you know, like switching to any other religion is ludicrous to me because, you know, I've been raised to believe that it's Christianity or nothing else. All right? So that's why I, have, I, I like to respect people and their religion. So I'm taking you to the backyard. Okay, so... I think this is where they prepare some of their sacrificial prayer things here or people come into the temple can purchase and have sacrifices um, prepared that they can offer okay maybe here okay make special prayers so you make your prayers come and sit down and pray to buddha and bow your head down although i'm a christian my my bible says not, not to bow my head down so it's everybody in their religion and you have to respect it it is what it is okay and because i am free-spirited i'm free-minded i i don't judge people okay i, I mean and that comes from years and years of traveling and being exposed to a lot of people and different culture and different lifestyle. So I don't ju judge people. I actually respect people. I respect their belief system. All right. So one other thing I want to, I would like to show you guys. Okay. So this is the hallway on the side. Oh, there's somebody, a kid sleeping here. So one thing I wanted to point out is the art in this building. Honest to God is remarkable. The design inside here. It is remarkable. I want you guys to see. Look at the ceiling. Can you see the ceiling? It's all like 100% covered with solid art work. Like all of it is art. Like painstakingly uh, drawn on the on the wall and the roof. Or should I say the ceiling? You know, the ceiling. Look at that. This is un unbelievable. I don't know if you guys can see this. If the lights will let you yeah look at that it is spectacular like I hope you can appreciate like the detail look at the detail all the way up there and I think this is okay so here is um, Buddha I think sitting in the middle giant edifice right there in the middle that, that should be Buddha I think I don't know but I'm assuming that's him right there so I'm gonna do this and that's Buddha behind me, people. There you go. That's how close I am in here. And I'm gonna come here and light my incense. Just like these people are lighting theirs. I'm gonna say my prayers shortly. Light my incense. Ask for everything I can ask for. Long life, good health, prosperity, and to remove evil eyes from my body. Because it's very easy for people to, 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 to get envious and jealous without understanding the hard work that goes into what you do. The only thing they see is envy. Envy is the only thing they see. So, anyway, 
that's all I'm going to be sharing with you. There are tons of people coming in to do prayers. As you can see, they, they are filing in one by one and presenting their sacrifices to Buddha. I will not be doing any sacrifice today. So I'll just be lighting my incense and um, saying my prayers and going my way. So let me go out. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching.